Hey folks, it's Ben. Welcome to the Red Barn Homestead channel. We got another unboxing, which is not exactly a big surprise. Uh, we have a Mastercraft soldering iron. This one just happens to be a 30 watt. Um, there's gonna be nothing special about this outside that it's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't actually have any heat settings. You plug it in and that's how you run it. It's ideal for like hobbies, if you're doing like audio speakers, pretty much anything. If you're gonna get bigger though, you're gonna wanna go to a bigger soldering iron, but this should do most of what you need. So. It's not obviously hard to open. Wrap. It even comes with solder, which is convenient for me because I'm about to do a soldering project, so we kind of need to do that. So we've got our solder here, and then we have our iron. So it's a, uh, it doesn't actually have Mastercraft written on it anywhere, so you can tell it's that generic soldering iron, 30 watts, UL listed. So and it's got only one tip. Uh, other irons can have different tips, but I think our net cost on this was about 30 bucks. It's not that gross expensive. And it comes with a little folding plate holder here. So you, if you had a permanent installation, you could totally screw it in. But other than that, you can pitch that like that. And then once you get your cord spread out, you set it like so, and that lets the tip stay hot while you have it plugged in. So uh, now we're gonna do a little bit of soldering and uh, you'll see how it works. If you have any questions on it, feel free. We always support the channel in the comments and all the videos, no matter how old they are, we'll, we will return your, your text or your, your comment. And uh, we'll do a little soldering and then we'll be good. So those are good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tin them, which means I'm gonna pre-apply solder to the wires. There's like four strands in here. <laughs> so I have my soldering gun, which I don't know if you can see or not. Mm -hmm. And then I just take my soldering gun, get the wire hot, and get in there with a little bit of solder and just kind of binds the wires together nice so they're easier to solder to something. So there we go. So we are set up correctly for that. I wonder if I can just melt the existing solder and get it stuck in there. That'd be kind of handy. Oh yeah, that's really melty stuff. So I just mostly use the soldering gun to melt that existing solder. Just like welding. And with that, our terminals are switched over. So we've got a little bit of exposed, but we did with the exposed metal there. So now we're good to go ahead and transfer this speaker over to the car. 